In this video, I'm going to be giving you all the absolute best Windows optimization guide of 2025. I'm going to be going through absolutely every single Windows optimization you can do to lower your latency, improve your ping, and most importantly, improve your FPS. I'll leave timestamps below for if you want to skip to any certain part that you're going to be optimizing. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with the basic optimization. We're going to be going onto the NVIDIA control panel and changing all of the settings inside here. So once you're inside the NVIDIA control panel, you're going to come up into the top left here where it says adjust image settings with preview. Click on the third one down and drag this bar down to performance. Then you're going to click on the second one and click apply. Once you've done this, you're going to come down to manage 3D settings in the top left and you're going to copy all of the settings I have applied on here. After you've applied these, you're going to come down to configure surround physics and set your physics processor to your GPU. Click apply in the bottom right and your changes will be saved. After you've applied these, this next one is preference. If you head over down to adjust desktop color settings and adjust your digital vibrance here, there's a picture on the side where you can see how vibrant it is. I use 85% on both of my monitors. I would recommend around 80 to 90%, but it's up to you. Just mess around with this bar. And choose whatever's best for you. After you've done this you're going to be heading on down to adjust desktop size and position and make sure both of your scaling modes are set to no scaling on however many monitors you have. Doing this will just result in lower input delay. Now we're going to be moving on to adjusting our game mode settings inside Windows. So first things first you're going to search for game mode and go over to game mode settings and just making sure that game mode is turned on. And once you've made sure game mode is turned off, you're going to search for game bar and making sure that your game bar is also turned off. Once you've done this, you can exit out of this, right click on your desktop, click on display settings and scroll down until you see graphics. Once you're on here, you'll see at the top where it says advanced graphic settings, make sure your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is turned on. Once you've done this, you're going to scroll down a bit where it says add an app, click add desktop app, find where your Fortnite or whatever game you're playing is located and you're going to add it on here and set the priority to high performance. Once you've done that, just restart your PC and the game will always run in high performance. The next thing we're going to be doing is making sure no unnecessary apps are opening up while we turn our PC on. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this app called Auto Runs and inside here you can disable all of the apps you don't want opening when you turn your PC on. So if you right click on this and click run as administrator, once it's open, you'll see all of the things that open when your PC starts up. And for most of the people watching this video, there is going to be a lot of things inside here you don't want opening while your PC starts up. So go through and disable any of the things inside here that you don't want starting up when your PC turns on. Once you've gone through and disabled anything you don't want starting up, you don't have to click file, save or anything. You can just click X and all of these settings will save. Now we're going to be disabling the unnecessary services that are running inside Windows. So to do this, you're just going to click the Windows key and search for services and click here and it should bring you to the page where all of the services inside Windows are either running or not running. And in here, we're going to be disabling some things that we don't need. The first thing we're going to be disabling inside here is all of these Bluetooth settings here. You're not going to need these even if you have a wireless mouse. I have a wireless mouse and all of these services are stopped. So make sure you disable all of these Bluetooth services here. And then we're going to be moving on to the next thing. Now from here, just click W on your keyboard and you'll see wallet service here. You're going to double click on this and stop this service too. Then you're going to scroll down a bit more until you see Windows push notifications. And you're going to be turning both of these Windows push notification services off as well. Once you've disabled these, just click X and those services will have stopped running in the background. Now the next thing we're going to be doing is searching for the Windows PowerShell. And we're going to be running this as an administrator. Once this is open, you're going to paste this command from the description into the PowerShell and wait for it to load. Once it's loaded up, it should look something like this. You just have to go over to tweaks on the top, click on standard, and then click run tweaks. I've already done this, so I'm not going to bother doing it again. But once you've done it, it should say the tweaks are completed inside here. And then you can close off this and all the tweaks will be finished. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing inside Windows is right clicking the Windows key here, clicking on settings. 
then going over to system and on here we're going to be changing all of the things inside here so the first thing we're going to be doing inside here is going over to notifications and making sure that the notifications are turned off here then you can go back and you'll be going down to focus assist on here you're going to untick all of these boxes and then you're going to go back onto the settings then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until it says about then you're going to click advanced system settings and it should bring up this box here on here you're going to click settings and then you're going to click adjust for best performance and then custom once you've clicked custom you're only going to enable three things and these three things are animate windows when minimizing and maximizing show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts once you've done these you're going to click apply it will take a minute to load but once it has just click ok and ok on this and you can exit out of the settings now the final thing we're going to be doing is optimizing our network inside of windows so to do this click the windows key and search for the control panel and once you're in here you're going to click network and internet go to network and sharing center click ethernet or your wireless connection should show up here Click on that, go on properties, and it should bring up a bunch of connections inside this box. Once you're inside here, you're going to click on Internet Protocol version 4, go to Properties, Advanced, Wins, and you're going to disable NetBIOS over TCP slash IP. Once you've done this, click OK, and then it should prompt you to put in a DNS server here. I would recommend using the Google DNS server, which is 8888 and then 8844 on the bottom. But if this doesn't work well for you, you can try 1111 on the top and 8888 on the bottom. Once you've done this, click OK and it'll bring you back to this box here. Now the next thing we're going to be doing inside here is clicking back on Internet Protocol version 4 and going to configure. Then you're going to click yes and it should bring you to a new box here. You're going to click on advanced and we're going to be changing some settings inside here. The first setting we're going to be changing inside here is energy efficient Ethernet and we're going to be making sure that this is turned off. Then we're going to be scrolling down until we see speed and duplex and putting this to either 1 gigabyte or 2.5 gigabytes depending on what the highest amount is that you have. So some people might have 1 gigabyte, some people might have 2.5. I have 1 gigabyte so I'm going to leave this on here. I'm going to scroll down even more until we see wake on magic packet. I'm going to be disabling this setting here. Then you're going to go over to power management and make sure both of these boxes are ticked once you've done this click ok and you can close out of the control panel that is it for this video guys and if it did help you out make sure you drop a like and subscribe and also don't forget to join my discord server if you want to get a one-to-one -one private tweaking session all the information for that will be in my discord server so make sure you join in that but i hope you did enjoy the video and i'll see you all in the next one